Hello, my name is Zed, welcome to the Shovel Warehouse. And as the new Fantastic Four is currently breaking all kinds of box office records, and becoming the greatest film ever made, and uh, really remaining faithful to the much beloved source material, I thought we'd play an equally stellar game. This is Fantastic Four Flame On for the Game Boy Advance. Hells to the air. This is unfortunately the... Uh, Oh, uh, something's happening. I guess this is the origin story. Uh, look away if you don't want spoilers for the film, because, you know, the film's obviously going to go over this in, in great detail. Really, really great detail. So right now I guess I'm, I'm Johnny Storm. Um, unfortunately, this is the one based on Chris Evans and not the new canonically black guy, which is obviously what happens in Fantastic Four. And I've just discovered my powers. Hooray! He likey. He likey. Two. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, now we're going to tell Reed what happened. Here's some origin story. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Right. I mean, punch. I mean, punch with the flames. Jump. I mean, do a... Kamehameha. I can explode. Cool. Okay. Press the A button to jump while in the air. Press B. Press the direction on the control pad. And the A button again. And you do a dash thing. That's brilliant. Why? How do you have a low frame rate on a Game Boy Advance game? How have you managed that? <laughs> Music in the background just kind of got someone going. Womp. Womp. Wob. That's the kind of music I associate with Fantastic Four. Just somebody constantly going wob. Punches! Yeah. Alright, so this is punching. Excellent! How about an attack that blasts through multiple enemies? Press the A button and the B button together to perform a fiery charge. Whoa! Get some of that. Great. Good. I love tutorials. Uh, okay. Down on the control pad and the B button. Yep. Flum. That's good. Yes, that's the word I'd have used. Less talking, more action. Oh, the irony of you putting that in a in a text box. Okay, cosmic something. Cosmic power, because I'm the Silver Surfer as well, because it doesn't really matter what we use the Silver Surfer for anymore. Silver Surfer doesn't matter. doesn't matter if Galactus is a cloud. Fantastic Four, great films. Love the Fantastic Four movies. Can we get on with it? Great. Yeah, it's Kamehameha. We did that already. Please move on. Hooray! Right, now we can go... Oh, there's a nurse. Uh, Candy the nurse. Alright, cool. Don't need music for this part. We'll just, we'll just sit there in silence, talking to each other. Oh no, there's a... Giant... Is that a scroll? Are we fighting scroll? All right, cool. I shall use everything I've learned to defeat the scroll. This, hmm. I feel a bit bad now because this isn't awful. I'm really annoyed that this isn't awful. I so wanted it to be terrible. But it isn't, it's, it's kind of cool. Very annoying. I mean, like I said, the frame rate has just decided that it doesn't really have to play along. But other than that, and the fact that I keep getting hit from things that... For the life of me, I, I don't seem to be able to see. Um... Other than that part... Okay, let's collect the... 
the gems, that's probably important. That's a very important part of Fantastic Four history. You know, it's it's that famous story from when Johnny Storm spent all his time just kind of flying around collecting gems. Doesn't Johnny Storm look suspiciously like Captain America to you? Isn't that strange how that happens? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, jeez. Hi. Hello. Yeah, this is pretty good. Hey, Candy. How's it going? Oh, you vanished. Story of my life. This, um... He's really, really, really annoying because it's kind of enjoyable. Kind of exactly what you'd expect a game. Like, it is It is actually the best video game representation of Johnny Storm, I think, that I have ever seen. Not that I've seen that many. Why are they coming out of the ski lifts? Alright, so this is this is super confusing, because like I'm fighting the scroll, but um All of the character models and stuff are based on the, the old film. Which last I checked didn't have scroll in it. Although, you know, I, I do recognize that obviously when they do these video game adaptations, they do occasionally take plots from comics and put them in with the film characters. Um, the Spider-Man ones were particularly good. They had like Mysterio in and stuff. They were good. I enjoyed. I enjoyed those. You get your health back by making a nurse disappear. Seems kind of exploitative of the nursing profession. I. <laughs> I really like the way he moves around. Um, genuinely very, very good. And I'm, I'm really annoyed that this is fun. Because the film, from everything I've been told, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I'm hoping to never have to. Unless, you know, if, if I commit some sort of crime and they tell me that I'll be let off from doing jail time if I can come up with my own suitable punishment. Then I might go and watch the new Fantastic Four. But uh, barring that, oh no, oh no, it's a, it's a scroll. Just like all the other scrolls that we were already taking on prior to this scroll. Oh, you can teleport. Oh no, he's got the teleport strats. Not that it really matters because I seem to be. Yeah, I think I just just basically kicked his ass all over the floor. Yeah! And then here comes, I guess, another nurse. Awesome things. No music, though. There's just, there's no music. We don't get music. You don't need music. I got five stars for that, though, so that's cool. Congratulations, you've reached the Cosmic Power Upgrade screen. Here, you'll be able to increase your powers and attacks. Oh, you can level up too. That's actually kind of cool, I guess. I never would have guessed that tutorial. I really, really never would have guessed that at all. I don't, I don't want to. Just give me more health. Yeah, just, just give me more health. What are we doing? What? No, 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 no. No, 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 I don't, I don't. No, see. No, 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 no. Why are you making me do, do snowboarding? I was really, really enjoying myself on the other thing we did. Remember where I was? I, w I was Johnny Storm. I was the Human Torch. And we, um, we beat up the scroll for a bit. And then, like, we did some Kamehamehas. And things exploded and it was all on fire. Now I'm doing some, like, terrible snowboarding minigame. Like it's been rebranded SSX shitty. It needs to stop. This has to stop. This is terrible. I don't understand why you would... Just give me another beat-em-up level. 
I really like the beat em up levels. I don't need crappy snowboard minigame. Oh, and it was all going so well. And then I face planted into a tree, which pretty much sums it up. Although I am kind of glad that this happened because it was a little bit too good. Um, maybe that pretty much sums up Fantastic Four. Because, like, I saw, I saw the um, the trailer for the new film, and in the trailer, the trailer does a really good job of doing their origin story, and it does it in about four minutes. And by the end of watching the trailer, you think, "Oh, great! Now I have a basic understanding of the origins of the Fantastic Four." But then, apparently, you go watch the film, and it's like an hour and a half of this is how the Fantastic Four got their powers. Here is Victor Von Doom. He is utterly terrible and is really bad and not threatening at all. So that's pretty. Pretty indicative of the Fantastic Four experience. Yeah. Although I'm really glad they put this in. Because then I get to finish it. And yay. Right, well. As is the norm with Fantastic Four, we end on a low note. That last part was terrible. And for that, I think we can all be thankful.